about some of the partnerships that you guys have with the community? Okay, we have developed a lot of partnerships actually through the course of the STEM grant coming into the program. We um, in first grade have partnered a lot with um, Martin's, which is a local grocery store in town. We also have um, some other partnerships through um, the Lakes and Streams here in the county, at the Parks Department, um, the KC Recycling. Um, Depot, um, and then other just, um, th the other thing that's really neat is I feel like with the STEM program, a lot of parents that work in our orthopedic companies here in Warsaw um, have really been excited to share what they know, what they do in their jobs, um, especially when we're working with um, like our, our bones unit. We have a lot of um, really cool resources here in town through the orthopedic industry. Great. For those who don't know, what is STEM? Um, what is STEM? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Um, and so basically what we do is we still teach the basic um, reading, writing, um, math every day. But the cool part is, is that we try to teach in units of science and so that ties into everything that we do. So we basically get to teach in units all day long. So for example, um, the holidays right now lend themselves really um, nicely to five senses um, because right now you're doing a lot with taste and smell and um, you know sight and so it's been really fun to integrate um, literature that we normally would read at Christmas time but to integrate that into um, a science focus as well. So. Tell us about why this approach is really crucial for the job market that these students will be entering. Yeah, um, I would say that this is crucial because, especially the technology component, it gives them such a, um, a step up. A lot of times, I feel like I might introduce something um, that is technology related um, or engineering related, and it's, what's neat is a lot of times, even in first grade, as a first grade teacher, they become <laughs> more um, well versed than I am <laughs> with that particular piece of technology. They, they just, they pick it up so naturally and I think it really is neat. I think we are able to expose um, the kids to a lot of different um, uh, science fields, uh, just different fields in science and engineering that they may not have never thought, you know, I want to be a structural engineer, but after, you know, learning about that and what those fields encompass, they have found, oh, that might be something really neat. So, Tell us about the project that your students were working on earlier today. Yes, we, um, this was a neat project. Uh, we are, we're working with fifth grade. Um, over Thanksgiving, um, we were learning a lot about uh, Native Americans and Native American homes. And um, the fifth grade uh, team was also working on that. And so they um, worked with us and we were able to produce some really neat um, Native American homes. The fifth graders kind of took the lead on the project, which I think is really important. I think a lot of times if you know something well, and you know it even better after you teach it to someone. So I think it, the fifth graders really benefited from having to teach younger children. And then first graders will listen to a fifth grader sometimes much better than they'll listen to me because it's their peer. So, um, and they learned a lot. It was fun to listen to them in my classroom, really uh, to actually hear what they had learned from their fifth grader because I hadn't been able to talk with everyone until their little presentation. So it was really good. It was so great to hear them explain their pro, oh my goodness, they're, <laughs> they're so cute. Is there, anything, is there anything else that you wanna add? I would just say, I mean, I just think there are so many benefits to teaching your children in this way. It can be a little bit more um, maybe labor intensive as a teacher, but I have really found that there are so many benefits to giving children basically ownership in their learning. Um, I kind of start with the lesson and then a lot of times through the projects I really sit um, to them somewhat. I mean, of course, they're still directed teaching as well, but I feel like students remember 
And I feel like learning becomes more concrete when they are able to take some ownership in their learning and to be able to go off um, and be creative with that. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank great. you.